Welcome, everyone. We are back for another week of uh, the weekly CTF. Uh, with me, as always, I have Jessica Hyde and Tara Melton. How are y'all doing this morning? Great. Excellent. Absolutely. We're great. Awesome. Awesome. Well, last week was a busy week for everybody. Uh, I, I definitely think Jessica threw down the gauntlet with her question with, you know, her, you know, that was that was awesome. I will say, especially limiting the number of tries to people really had to think through their uh, their answers. Uh, but this week we are going to do a few things. We are going to review Tara's question from week two. Two, yeah. We are also going to, obviously, as of now, week threes is closed. So if you haven't gotten your questions in, now it's going to be too late because we're hiding that. And we're going to be unveiling question four, which is also in the... This week, everybody gets to write their Q3 blogs. And I can't wait to hear people write about the different rabbit holes they went down with this question. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. I I love the uh, blog write-ups. We are definitely reading them all. uh, So definitely keep publishing them. Uh, I'm going to be doing a monthly roundup of kind of going through all of the questions, and I'm going to try and post as many links as possible to the different write-ups as well from each week uh, as a part of that blog. So that'll be coming out in the near future. We're going to unveil the next image that we're going to be working off of for November. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, we definitely, and I'm going to let just do that. But to start, let's go ahead and Tara, do you want to walk us through the solve for your challenge question? Sure. Let me go ahead and share my screen. And while I'm doing this, I will go ahead and remind everyone what the question actually was. So the question was, what domain was most recently viewed via an app that has picture in picture capability? And so what's really cool about uh, this is all the write ups that we read didn't actually uh, take the same methodology that I was actually writing the question off of. And so uh, this is the process that I was going through when I was actually writing the question. And so hopefully you find this useful because there's a a couple of different artifacts that um, I really like to use as well. So can you guys see my screen okay? Looks good. Good. Okay, so I have the Android image open that we're using, and I'm going to go down to this file path down here under uh, System CE zero, and then Recent Tasks. So Recent Tasks um, is going to show you some of the most recent applications that uh, the Android was using, um, and the XML over here that's associated with these file or with these tasks are going to give you some additional information. So you can see here, I'm just going to kind of go through a couple of these. Um, we have this one that's labeled as Task ID 330, and you can see that this Google Mail um, supports picture in picture says false. And a couple of these are kind of the same way. You can see that there's this flag here that says supports picture in picture equals false. Now I'm going to go up to task 320 and you can see this is Google the Google Chrome browser. And the XML over here is uh, pointing to the fact that supports picture in picture equals true. So knowing that going off of these recent tasks, I'm going to use this task ID of 320 to then go down to uh, to the same file path, but instead I'm going to go down into the snapshots here. And using that, um, that task ID 320, this is going to actually be a snapshot of kind of the last screen that the user was viewing when using the application. So using this task ID 320, we can see that this uh, Google Chrome browser was up and the domain here that's up here at the top is malisay.com. And that was the answer to the question. So that was my methodology. It was really cool that um, we had other methodologies that were shown in all the blogs that were being shared in everyone's different write-ups. So I was really excited to see all the different ways people were going about that. I've got to tell you, recent tasks and snapshots are two of my favorite artifacts on Android because a lot of times the content you can get, you you go to recent tasks, you figure out what that task ID, what um, application bundle it, it ties to so you know the app. And then when you go to that snapshot, sometimes that screen capture, the last thing they were doing is something you can't get anywhere else, especially if they were using maybe a chat application that's encrypted and it has that picture of the conversation. So they're two of my favorite artifacts and it's a really quick way to answer that question. So yes, I love those artifacts too. And so I really wanted to draw attention to that in writing my question in case it's something that people weren't aware of and they they, uh, hopefully learned something new today. So that was maybe they weren't aware of it because I don't think anyone solved it that way. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so that hopefully this video was a learning experience about another way to solve the, the problem. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, and I, I took a whole different approach. I mean, I was on the Android developer forum looking up what they were coding in for picture in picture and all. Yeah, so that's awesome. That's awesome. 
Great. Well, so on to week four. So I guess it's my turn to unveil both my question and a little bit of trivia as well. Before I do that, something I do want to just mention, something that we posted in the Discord as well. We want to make sure that this game is fair and fun for everybody. So please, 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 obviously we're all forensic investigators. There are ways that we can track stuff. <laughs> please make sure you're you know, playing with just one uh, user. Don't try and create a bunch of user accounts for you know testing your answers and all that because we will definitely track that so let's keep it fair let's keep it fun definitely you know that's what we're here for so with that we're going to leave that where it may be and move on to my question so first i'll give you my trivia question and unfortunately you know we all got a good laugh out of this one i will say but yeah earlier all of us did sure <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> i'm kidding i'm what, kidding it, uh, it, I got a good laugh out of it, and I know Jessica did, so I mean. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> so last week, last uh, Thursday, as a matter of fact, uh, we did a recording for our Tips and Tricks, and I presented Outrider 2.0. As a part of that, I mentioned one of the new OS artifacts that I, I really, really like. And I actually highlighted a favorite uh, GIF of mine and you know, kind of pointed that out. Now, I didn't share it with everyone. Uh, I actually had to pull it up on my second screen, but decided not to actually pull it out for, for the webinar. But if you can name the file name of that GIF in the Discord, I will post that GIF and you will get your points. Uh, so the that being said, two prizes. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely the GIF that keeps on giving for sure. Uh, <laughs> that, I, I, it's a great, great GIF, but you're definitely going to have to look through. You might have to pause the screen from that, you know, recording I did with the tips and tricks, but. You know, definitely fantastic. Had a lot of fun with that. So that's going to be the trivia. So you got to name the file name of my favorite GIF. Post it over to Discord. And first one to do that will obviously uh, get to also see the GIF. But that is the trivia question for this week. Also, moving forward on these weekly videos, we are going to pick a random person who is competing and doing the challenges each week. We're going to actually start picking every week just a random winner as well that are going to actually get an opportunity to visit the Magnet Swag Store that we have off of our website, order swag from there. So make sure you tune in because you'll be able to you know, track and see if you won, and you might get some Magnet Swag from that. So... Are we ready for week four challenge? Yeah, let's hear it. All right, so it's a little bit, you know, we're going kind of different directions with our challenges. So the week four challenge, which is going to be obviously today, October 26th, through next Monday morning, animals that never forget. So animals <laughs> that never forget. And the question is, Chester likes to be organized with his busy schedule. Unique identifiers change often, just like his schedule does. But sometimes Chester also enjoys fishing. What was the original GUID for his fishing expedition? Now, I'm going to take play out of Jessica's uh, playbook, and <laughs> you have a max attempt of three this week as well. So a couple different ways to solve it during the validation process of these questions, actually. Tara solved it a completely different way than uh, I originally did, but that being said, to each their own, and uh, good luck. So we'll see your write-ups you know, here in a couple weeks, and I'll definitely unveil you know, my methodology, and maybe Tara will kind of walk through how she did it. Good luck with the week for challenge. Man, I say the coolest thing is just learning how many different ways there are to solve every problem. It's just awesome. It is yep. awesome. It's awesome to see everyone's thought process and methodology. In their brain. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep. yep, absolutely. So that uh, the week four challenge is worth 25 points. You get three shots, make them count. And with that, we are now going to talk about uh, next month's image that we're using. So Jessica, would you like to unveil it sure so next month's image is linux so you know we're, we're definitely picking something a little challenging um for those who realize or don't realize there's very few tools that parse artifacts from linux uh, this might be a great opportunity for some good custom artifacts and you know maybe calling out that we've been spending some time with linux but really the person 
out there in the community who's really been doing a lot of Linux forensics works is Ali Hadi. He did a great Linux forensics presentation at the Magnet Virtual Summit. And he's even got one coming up at OSDFCon around Linux with IoT. He's really been slamming it in Linux. And as part, he has created some labs that are up on his GitHub. And with his permission, we're using case two from Ali Hadi's Linux lab um, that he used at MVS. He used at last year's OSDFCon and has used for several training sessions around the world. It is a great Linux image full of lots of great content. And uh, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for people to really dig into doing Linux analysis. And so I'm really stoked for it. I am really excited as well. That being said, we will post a link to to the image both on the CTF website. We'll also post it in Discord as well. Uh, so you'll be able to download it this week and be ready to go for when we unveil the first question of the Linux build. We'll actually have our very own Jamie McQuaid, uh, who's been doing a lot of research in Linux. He's going to actually uh, have the first question that we are going to unveil next week as a part of that Linux build as well. So good luck to everyone. Really excited about digging into Linux, kind of leaving the, the mobile world behind for a, a little bit and uh, playing around there. Also keep in mind, great opportunity if you're going to use Axiom for this to make some custom artifacts. Uh, we've had several submissions. As we get them in, make sure that when you submit them that you're putting, you're playing the weekly CTF so that our team will alert us that, hey, we've got some submissions in for the different builds and kind of write, uh, you know, as a part of that submission process, what week you're building off of too. So we can kind of keep track of all the uh, great artifacts that we're going to be getting in. So that being said, that that, you know, especially if you're you know trying to catch up on points, hey, 50 points for a, a custom artifact that that can definitely move you up the leaderboard very very quickly. So, we're really excited about that. You know, Jess, who do you have on cash up tomorrow? I was just going to say, you were just saying catch up on points. I wanted to say who we're going to have on cash up tomorrow on cash up. We're going to have the one and only Google query extraordinaire, Ryan Benson, author of Hindsight and Unfurl, which are tools that may have helped you in the Magna Virtual Summit CTF. There were some questions that that helped with, but Ryan is incredible and really looking forward to the conversation with him tomorrow. Awesome. I'm definitely looking forward and we'll tune in uh, to that. And I will say we are also working on having a special guest present another question for November as well. So stay tuned for that. I definitely expect that question to be uh, a little challenging for most, uh, definitely. So I, I'm, I'm really excited about that. But with that, I think we are good. Everyone, good luck this week and definitely reach out if y'all have any questions, need anything. Uh, obviously, you know, myself, Tara, Jessica, we're all awarding points for write ups, things like that. You know, if you think we've missed something, please let us know. But definitely, you know, give us a few days because uh, we're definitely kind of doing them in big batches, you know, as we have time, because obviously we're we're still doing webinars and research <laughs> and everything else as well. But with that, everyone have a great week and we will see you next week, you know, week five Linux question. Good luck. Thanks, everyone. Good luck. Thanks, everyone. Good luck. Yeah.